It's the magic of math here, and today we're talking about transformations and are these characteristics true statements about a certain transformation. Here's our question today. We have a transformation of triangle HJK resulted in its image triangle H prime J prime K prime as shown on the coordinate plane right here. You're asked which of the following statements correctly describe the transformation of triangle HJK that resulted in its image triangle H prime J prime K prime and you're asked to select the two correct answers. So I'm going to ask you to pause now, pick the two of these six selections that are true, and then come back and hit play to check your work. Welcome back. So again, we have a transformation of triangle HJK right here, and the image triangle H prime J prime K prime right here, and we want to find two correct answers that correctly describe a transformation of the original figure to this image. So let's begin with answer choice A. We have triangle HJK right here, HJ, HJK, this is our triangle, our original figure, and it's going to be reflected over the x-axis to form the image, and we're asked if this is true. So if we're going over the x-axis, we need to identify that as our line of reflection. So that means we're reflecting over the x-axis. So that means every vertice is going to be the same distance on the other side of the x-axis. So if j, the vertice j, is 1 away, then it's going to be 1 below. h is 3 above, 3 below. And here's k, 6 above, and then 6 below. So this is a reflection of this original figure, HJK, over the x-axis. You can see that it's not this image. So we know that answer choice A is not correct. So now let's look at answer choice B. Triangle HJK was reflected over the y-axis. So I cleared the coordinate plane. Let's identify our line of reflection as the y-axis. So now we're going to reflect over. So that means every vertice is going to go the same distance on the other opposite side. So that if we folded a piece of paper, it would be a mirror image and they would overlap if this was our fold. So J is 2 away from the Y axis, 2 away. Here we're 4 away, 4 away. And H is 6 away and then 6 away. So you can see that this triangle H prime, J prime, K prime is our reflection of triangle HJK over the Y axis. So we've identified our first correct answer that it is truly a reflection over the Y axis. Now we need to find one more correct answer. So we're going to have triangle HJK translated four units to the right. So that means I'm going to take every one of these vertices and I'm going to slide it four units to the right. And when I do that, this is my image. We can see that this translated image is not H prime, J prime, K prime. It's a very different triangle. So we know that answer choice C is not correct. Let's look at answer choice D. We have triangle HJK that is rotated 90 degrees clockwise about the origin. So now let's identify our origin, and we know that we're going to go in a clockwise direction. So when I do that, if you even tilted your head to look at this or picked up your computer and turned it, we know that this point, vertice, is going to be right here, and then each one. So this one would go to 3, 6, 3, 6, and if I tilted my head, this one's going to go to 6, 4, 6, 4. So we can see that we got this is not the same thing because this is vertice H right here. So we can clearly see that if we rotate about the origin 90 degrees clockwise, that it is not H prime, J prime, K prime. Let's look at answer choice E. Triangle HJK is congruent to triangle H prime, J prime, K prime. Well, seeing as we've identified that this image is a reflection of this original figure, we know that it has to be congruent because all reflected images must be congruent to the original figure. 
So therefore, our second correct answer is answer choice E. Now let's look at F just to be sure. Triangle HJK is not congruent to triangle H prime J prime K prime. If this were true, then B could not be true because a reflection must be congruent to the original figure. So we can rule out answer F. So we have identified our two correct answers, our answers B and E, that triangle HJK is reflected over the y-axis to form triangle H prime J prime K prime, and the image is congruent to the original figure. So I thank you for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we talked about transformations, reflections, translations, rotations, and congruency. And that's it at The Magic of Math where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you have a great day, and I hope you come back soon.